What's up Divas and Divas, it's your girl April. So this is gonna be a review and my first impressions, my thoughts, my dislikes, my like, girl, please don't waste your time. So, it's not gonna be a really long video because it's only two different companies, um, but I'm going to start off with um, one that I received from Octoly.com. I have done quite a few videos for Octoly.com. Um, mainly if you do any type of social media, there are different products that you can get for free as long as you do a post, a review about it in return, which is amazing because they have all kind of things. And I know you guys are probably like, oh, they probably got like really cheap stuff, whatever. But they they actually really don't. You can find Mac. I have seen Mac, YSL, um, Smashbox. I have seen ColourPop. I got a nice kit from ColourPop. Um, Real Techniques. I have seen so many different brands on Oxley. And it's a great site. So if you know anyone or you want to give it a try, I will post the link directly below for you. So I got a I, I got a package from Oxley and all you have to do is apply for the item and say what you would do with the item. Basically, oh I'm gonna do a video or I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do a makeup look with these products, and before I even get started, I really thought that it said why. SL like I really didn't look at it like that um, I think I just seen the Y and the three letters and was like click it and okay it is actually a um, and it stands for your best friend so it's Y B F um, Y B F your best friend which is still a very nice name so it's the start of a beautiful friendship and this is actually a corrector kit so when I say corrector kit I'm talking about concealers they do carry all types of different products the one that I got um, I did pick out was the corrector kit and it came with four different concealer types okay like the packaging cuz you do get nice size concealers okay so keep that in mind I do have like a kind of like a beige honey blunt, um, light brown here then I do have the light green which I don't really use because it, I just never seem to use it correctly then there is the light lavender and the yellow corrector right here so the packaging is really chic and just a great size for the price when I first saw these I thought they were much thinner much skinnier but they're really actually a kind of nice fat tubes so I decided to use I didn't use these two the lavender and the green because I don't really use these ones I never really have a need for them but I do use the yellow corrector and this one right here seemed like a really great color against my skin for underneath my eyes so for your best friend YBF they do have a huge applicator. Do you see that applicator? It's a big sponge, kind of like doe foot, which gives a great application. Now, I did try it out. I tried it under my brows. I tried it under my eyes. I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, I really did not like the product at all. Very, very oily, but the consistency just wasn't there. Um, when I went to apply this to my actual face, like before I even applied my foundation, I put on my primer and I said, I'm just going to use the yellow, youthful yellow, underneath my eyes just to brighten the area before applying my foundation. Because sometimes I'll do that with like my other yellow correctors. When I put this on, I used, first I used a flat buffer brush and I said, well, maybe it's the brush that's making the actual product just sink into my skin like you don't even see it anymore so now I'm going to use my real techniques beauty blender on this eye same same result it just kind of like disappears into the skin it really doesn't um, last the only place that it seemed like it lasted was under was on my eyelid and that's probably because I already had on one of the thicker concealers okay so I already had something applied so just applying this to your bare naked skin does not seem like it works at all and that's what each product of these they are very oily and the consistency is not really that great they're very very sheer very very sheer but the one thing that I like about the idea is it comes in these great size tubes so the only thing that I would suggest is to just improve the quality but the actual packaging is really really nice so I just thought I would share that with you guys as for the game changer green and the luminate lavender I didn't get a chance to use these so this is it wet and once you put it in 
of course you want it to kind of like disappear and it's just very oily and kind of like patchy just very very watery oily let's see what the yellow corrector looks like you have to really really build this but you need to wait and let it dry allow it to dry because that's what I had to do and it still didn't really work out for me like very sheer and very kind of like white powdery looking yeah. um, but if you want to check out the actual Octoly, then go ahead. I will post their info below. This is from one of my favorite boxes. This is not a monthly subscription. This is like the annual, seasonal, semi-annual, annual box to um, Beautycon box. Let me tell y'all. First of all, I did not expect this box. And I was so excited when it came in the mail because I didn't even know what was in here. And then when I opened it up, I was like, oh my God. Yes, hunty. Yes. Yes. Like, I was like, what? I was too happy because there was this one product in there that I was wanting, like I had been delaying. You know how you delaying, delaying to purchase, meaning you know how you put something in your shopping cart? You put quite a few things, maybe even not a quite a few things, but something in your shopping cart and you just be like, okay, I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to think about it. Well, I thought about this product like probably six times already. Then I see my girl Jackie come out with a collection this um, holiday with them and I was like, oh yeah. Yes, I'm going to buy it now. But when I got to the website, the Jackie collection was sold out, but another young lady's was available. And it was 50 bucks, and I was like, okay, let me think about this. I'm going to come back to it. Well, I didn't come back to it until the next day. And by the next day, it was sold out, like gone. I was like, damn, the next holiday box is $100. I don't know about that. I don't really know if I want to spend a hundred dollars, but those highlighters look bomb. Okay, bomb ass. Well, anyway, Saturday's mailbox, okay, was nicely decorated with a beauty con. And who do we have here? This cute young lady, Dulce Candy. Like so in this box, there was some goodies, and like I was telling you guys, I was like so psyched about this one product in here. Up in this box, like full size products, some traveler size products, but there was just one product that I was like amazed with, which is this artiste couture okay mm. now you guys they have like the prettiest highlighters that i've ever seen and this is just the travel size okay now, i really wanted the illuminati one for the longest guess what a girl has the diamond glow powder because that's what they call it the illuminati OMG, if you guys thought that you wanted to glow like the heavens, the stars, the moon, and whatever other planet is surrounding you, then this is what you need to get, okay? You guys see that glow? Like, it's so pretty. I tried it out on Saturday on one of my good friends because she was going out to a Christmas party with her husband. She was glowing, okay? She was glowing. And then I put some on my nose. And I was like, ooh, child. Ooh, child. Look at that. Oh, ooh. But this stuff is like heaven, okay? To me, one of the best highlighters. There's many different pictures that I've seen on Instagram with different people that have purchased their stuff. Really nice collection, and I want to get my hands on it. So, Artiste Couture. Yes, was so pleased about that. Then, when I looked in a little bit further, I seen one of my other, well, my favorite brands, which is the Too Faced. And this is their Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And I was like, oh, shooky, shooky, dooky now. Shut the front door because I thought I had this one, but I have the deep. So this is the Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And it's a small travel size. But I think, like, this is big enough. It'll last, okay? Especially if you have other bronzers or matte bronzers or what have you. It'll last. I don't need a big full size. This is the perfect size for me. Right there, the middle finger and the index finger. But I love their freaking matte bronzer. And it smells so good. It smells like 
chocolate. The Beautycon um, annual box, I think it's like annual, it's like every four months or something like that. They always have like the best stuff ever. Like the heck with all the other monthly subscription boxes. They have good stuff too, but their stuff it's worth the wait because they will come through with some really, really nice stuff. Like seriously, some really, really nice stuff. I did use this yesterday. This is the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Primer Base Mascara. Let me tell you, I use this. Now it does go on white because it's a primer base for your mascara. And I used it because this eye, I have put on a new set of individual lashes. This eye, I didn't need to. And this eye is thicker because it was mascara on it. And you know what I mean? This eye just looked really brand new. And I needed to thicken it up. So what I did was I put this on first and I allowed it to dry. And once I allowed it to dry, I then used my Too Faced Queen Size Mascara. Um, and it just gives you more volume for your actual mascara yeah. voluminous um mascara instant volume full lash density um i think this is yes voluminous feline now for one the packaging is so pretty i didn't get to use it the color is black i have so many mascaras that i don't use up and i didn't want to open it because once you open it they're only good for like three months after so i just didn't want to open it because i know if i would open the packaging then i would actually honestly open this because so what was the sense so i didn't open that but i just like to have mascara on deck so but this did come in the box i did use this i love garnier and i also use their moisturizing balancing facial moisturizer and i actually got it from um, beauty con box but this is their skin active micellar cleansing water all in one it removes makeup it cleanses and soothes no rinse no harsh rubbing face lips eyes all skin types sensitive so I like this kind of stuff I do have another bottle that I just finished it wasn't by Garnier it's by number seven uh, it's a little it was a little bit more pricier but it's the same concept so I love this stuff because what I'll do with this is I will put this on my baby wipes and I will remove my eye makeup with it just to make the baby wipe a little bit more moist also, I will spritz a little bit on my mascara wand to remove the actual mascara from my eyelashes daily. And I also use this like a toner once I finish washing my face before I put any primers on. I also use that. So these are really, really good. And Garnier is really inexpensive. I did use this, okay, because yeah, it's a little dirty now. Um, but I used it because I, like I said, I was, I was doing my friend's makeup and when I was leaving to go to her house, I checked the mail and this was in the box and she really does not have a makeup collection at all she has like a few things so thank god this came in handy but this is the luxie tapered highlighter brush and yes that's i use it to highlight and contour i have their blush angle blush brush from the last beauty con box and i really do like it i use it daily i love the fact that the color is so pretty with the rose gold handling it's really cute really pretty and these brushes are really really great so now, one of my other favorite affordable companies is ColourPop. This is their lippy stick. Now, you guys know this is like my color. It's a nude color, all right? Like, uh, yes. You see that color right there. This is my color. And I already went ahead and put it on my lips. You guys know I love this color. This is like my color. They're not, it's like a nudish, but not too nude. Mmm. Love this color. This is a gorgeous color and it's a retractable pencil. So, yes. Thank you to ColourPop. There is some Remmel lipstick in this box as well. Remmel, this one is called Pink A Punch. This is very bright. Like, whoo, child. Bright. It's not a matte, but it is very bright. It's like super duper bright. The K Somerville or Somerville Exfoliate Extensive Treatment. I've had this in another box. I can't remember which um, subscription sent this to me, but I did use it once and it was, you know, very relaxing. I loved anything like 
exfoliating or like a mask or things like that because I'd like for my skin to feel really really clean especially my face because you know we put makeup on um, not every day but enough and sometimes it gets in our pores so when I just wash I feel like my face is clean somewhat but when I use my little spa brush that exfoliates like really gets in the dirt and I use stuff like that then you can tell the difference because my skin is like uh, uh, this my skin is just like a lot brighter and so that leads me to this here which is not the last product but I've had their facial mask prior me and mumsy actually did a video together this is their decadence facial mask and this is by the botanic fibers um mumsy loves facial masks um she just loves them and i cannot blame her so their masks are really really good um you can get them in an array of different kind of envelopes um, and the last item which i did also use is the skin valve this is the body um carrot cream the body carrot cream and it's caffeine and argon oil so it hydrates it tones it smooths and it improves the skin's texture so when it said that it improves the skin's texture and it improves your face and it hydrates them do you know where i put this at right on my face okay i used it yesterday and today now normally i do not put any type of lotions on my face i will normally put a moisturizer but it didn't say lotion it said body carrots cream so i just felt like it says hydrate it says tone it says smooth and it improves the skin texture a girl want her face to be improved so there's really no scent to it in case you're wondering there's really like no strong overbearing scent to it karate i said carrot body karate cream i'm sorry um but because it said it tones and smooths i was like oh yes a girl is going to put this on her face okay yes i am and that's about it and this is a nice full size product okay check out beauty con i'm telling you guys this is one box that you will want to definitely get if you don't do subscriptions i was gonna say prescriptions but if you don't do subscriptions try this one they got like the bomb stuff it doesn't come every month i know sometimes those little month ones you pay like twenty dollars and it's like i don't even like what's in this this products be like mad small you know what i'm saying like dumb small i don't really be into all of that but if you get like the beauty con ones um I do have a $5 off code, which I will place below, but also their products are just a lot more high-end. You know what I'm saying? You do get some drugstore, but you do get a lot of great high-end quality products. So, yes, just keep that in mind. So, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the info for Octoly as well will be posted for you girls below. Stay diva and divalicious. Enjoy your holidays, and I will see you all very, very soon. Hey.